Hey guys, this is Aiden here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Mr. Beast ARG, or the riddle as he likes to call it. It's not really a riddle, and it's really like a cross-platform puzzle, but whatever, I think that might just get the most views. Today I'm going to be going into detail about the whole thing, and doing all the steps step by step and showing you how to solve it. I'm making this video because my last one blew up, and it's not very high quality, and I want to make a much better version that goes into each step and actually explains it, and that's what I'm going to do. Also, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. It's insane. Um, welcome all the new people to my channel, and let's get into it. So the first thing is that we're going to start off with the beginning video, the actual one where he announces it. I'm not going to play the whole thing because you've probably already seen it, but there's multiple clues and messages hidden throughout the entire video, and I'll be referring back to it later. Most important thing is that the first yellow letter or verification code is in this video, Z. This is very important, and Mr. Beast tells you that you have to write these down to actually create a code so that it's like an anti-cheat. The, the puzzle really starts when he tells you to go into the description, click that click that link and it leads you to the first video, step one. Welcome to step one of 26 for the world's hardest riddle. In the description there is 10 links. Nine of them don't work, one of them do. Find the one that works and that'll take you to step two. And while you're doing that I might as well just let you know too that uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel you might regret that if you win. So I would hit subscribe if I were you. All right go find the working link. This is what the description looks like. You have to click the fifth link, and that one that's the one that works. Step two, you will see this video. Congrats, you found the one link that worked. I'm really proud of you, but I need to weed some of you out. Like, there's just too many people still here. So this time, instead of giving you 10 links in description, there's 10 links on the screen right now, and only one works. Pause the video, type them in, see you there. Like you said, most of them are dead ends, and you actually have to type things out on screen. The seventh one is the right one. You click it, you go to the next page, go on to step three. Step three is just a seven minute long video of Jimmy eating cereal. Pretty uneventful. But around six minutes in, this happens. If you look in the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see a URL. It's only going to be there for a second. All right, it's gone. Going back to cereal eating. Good luck. Like he said, this link, paper, scissors made of rock. If you actually go to type that in as a website, it will bring you to our URL, which redirects you to another YouTube video, which will take you to step four. This is an 11 minute video of his friends playing rock, paper, scissors. But sprinkled throughout the video about every 10 seconds is some Morse code. If you decode it, you get www.saveourbowls.com, which if you translate to a URL, it gives you this link. If you click on that, it brings you to step five. Step five redirects you to this video. If you made it this far, that means you're serious. And step five is actually going to be really easy. I just want to give you some information for step six, which is after this. When you click the link in the description, you're going to get this website right here. It's going to ask for what country you live in, your name, and your email. And I want to explain why we need those three things. We need to know what country you're in. These are the countries where this contest is legal. Just because of legal reasons, some countries we can't do it. That's fine. I'm sure most of you live in these places. And second, I need your email so we can track you throughout the riddle. Basically, if someone's on step 20 and they copy the URL and send it to someone else, the other person won't be able to start on step 20 because it's going to ask you to put in your email and if that email hasn't gone through steps 7 through 19 it's not going to allow you to do that and it's going to kick you back to the start. I don't want people cheating so I'm going to ask for your country but ask for your email so we can make sure no one's cheating and no one's skipping steps because you're going to have to use your email throughout it to get to the last part and then just your name. That's what step 6 is. It's linked to the description. Like I said, this is what it looks like. Go to that website. Give us those three things. Like he said, he needs to track you through the puzzle and make sure that there's no cheating. You have to click this link in the description where you register. Step six and seven. You have to fill out this page right here and insert your email. And it kind of sucks because this doesn't work everywhere in the world because of legal reasons. So if you don't live in one of these countries that you can participate, I'm sorry. Uh, you won't win the money, but you can just try it if you want. Then you have to agree with these terms and conditions, and that brings you to this phone right here, which leads you into step eight. This is just a little phone emulator. This phone emulator you're currently watching me on is the only thing you're gonna use throughout this riddle to call or text numbers. So if you have a phone in real life, throw it on the ground, break it, you are not using it. Use only this emulator to call and text numbers throughout this riddle. Anything else will not work. Um, the first thing that you see on it is your third yellow letter code. 
uh, it is actually randomized for each person. When you open the phone, if you check your voice, you see a little voicemail thing. If you open it, you get this voicemail. Welcome to Step 8. What can you put a hundred million of in your friend's backyard? Also, Yoda is very cute. He's talking about Orbeez. That's the answer to the first question about putting Orbeez in his friend's backyard. If you actually look at the um, first video, aka Step Zero, that's what I'm going to be calling it now, he throws a bunch of Orbeez at a picture of Baby Yoda. This is actually important, because if you look at the picture of Baby Yoda, there's an Instagram icon in the corner. If you go to Mr. Beast's Instagram, you'll see that he's actually following a page called Baby Yoda Riddles. The Instagram bio has a link in it. If you copy that link and paste it into the URL, it leads you to Step 9. Step 9 is really where it gets fun. This is a web page full of hundreds and hundreds of randomly generated QR codes. Most of them, when you scan them, will redirect you to this page. But one of them actually works, and you might be wondering which one it is. The answer is that it's randomly generated, meaning that you just have to trial and error hundreds and hundreds of QR codes until you find the one that works. I think this is what made Jimmy think this is going to take a long time. This is really just meant to slow people down. But a few smart people actually made a code that if you go into inspect element and paste it into the console, it will auto scan the page for all the QR codes that work until it finds the one that works for you. If you click that link, it will lead you to step 10. Step 10 brings you back to the phone, but this video plays. Congratulations, you made it to step 10. Here's a cookie. That was all. He's referencing step zero. We see Chandler eating a cookie with a Twitter symbol on his head. If you look at Mr. Beast's Twitter, you'll see that he's following an account with a cookie PFP, aka Mr. Cookie is here on Twitter. If you look at his bio, you get a link that says this, I like lots of words. Click that link, and it link brings you back to the phone and onto step 11. You'll see that you got a text from Jimmy saying that you need to find the 6,969th word in the new dictionary app on your phone, meaning that yes, people actually had to go to 6,000 pages of this dictionary to actually find the word. The word is in all caps C-U-B. You text that to Jimmy, it'll bring you to step 12. He will then text you back your fourth yellow letter, and a novel. This is a very long insert of text from the Jungle Book, but hidden in the text there is a message message that says, Call me, 693-619-7831. If you call this, it leads you to step 13. Calling this number, you get a message from Jimmy. The message says this. Well, well, well. You are doing good. Keep up the good work. Who do you think is cooler? Chris or me? If you actually write out the transcript of what he says and take the first letter of everything that he says, you get www.yadgkut and so on. If you actually convert this into a website, then it leads you to step 14. When you go to step 14, you get redirected to a website called mrriddle.com slash apex, and then you'll see this video. This is a reference to the character Wrath in Apex Legends. And if you look at Chris's um, Instagram, you'll see that he's following an account called Wrath Has Too Much To Say. Convert that into the middle Mr. Riddle URL, and it brings you on to step 15. Step 15 is a page saying, well, I understand they use charge showers to power their island for, and a blank, you have to type in experiments, which then redirects you to step 16. If you get here, the answer is Moisturize, which is a reference to this video, which pops up on screen. Moisturize. <laughs> Moisturize. After the video plays, you get redirected back to the phone onto step 18. You'll get a text from Jimmy with a picture that says Free Store. What you have to do next is if you look at video zero, you'll see that there is a code that he only shows for a few seconds, full of Chinese numbers that if you decode, you get this number here. If you, if you call this number, you get the Apex Hold Center. Press 1 to continue. Press 2 to hang up. 
You then have to go to the keypad and type in free store on the number pad using the letters, aka 373378673. Typing that in will then redirect you to a call with Shakespeare. The Merry Wives of Windsor by William Shakespeare. Act 1, Scene 1. Enter John. Which you can hang up on. This leads you to step 19. Because you got a call from Shakespeare, you now have to go to mrriddle.com slash Shakespeare. Pretty easy. That's step 19. Going on to 20. Step 20, you will get a crossword um, with a, your fifth randomly generated yellow code. You must answer the crossword, and the words are subscribe to and Mr. Beast. You just have to click them in the crossword, and then they'll redirect you to page 21. Page 21, you will get this page right here with these numbers, a phone number, and then another list of numbers. You might be thinking that you have to call this number and then input that code, but actually you have to text this number that code. Texting that will then get you a response back from Mr. Riddle, going on to step 21. The page Mr. Riddle sends you is kingcanyonskulltown.com, in which you will see this page, which has the Apex Legends launch trailer, and you'll see a mailbox. Uh, with CC on it, and then multiply by 42069, and then equals um, text. This means that you have to count every single letter in the closed captioning of this video. Every, the amount of letters is 89. Multiply that by 42069, and you get this number. Text that back to Mr. Riddle, and you go into step 22. The link that Mr. Riddle gives you is a link to a very, very bad version of Flappy Bird, aka Carl's favorite game. It's very annoying, and it's super buggy. You can fall through the floor super easily. So many people are having problems with this, but you have to get to 100 on the Slappy Bird to continue. A few people actually wrote a Python script, um, which you can find out more about in the description. But once you get 100, then you go on to step 23. Once you win, you'll see these coordinates here. These coordinates actually lead you to the Grand Canyon um, in real life. Now, here's where it gets kind of difficult for people to find this is that at in video zero um when chris is driving the golf cart you'll see that the license plate says grand canyon and there's a twitch icon on it if you actually go to carl's twitch a few days ago he was actually streaming playing the map grand canyon and like six hours in he actually flashed on screen a website oh i don't know what this I don't know what that is. Let's disregard that. If you go to that website, then you actually go into step 24. Now this site, you have a timer right here. And the goal is that you have to stop it on exactly 69.696 seconds to pass. It's very hard, but a few people actually made app macros. So that's what you can do if you want to, but it is possible. This leads you to page 25. You just have to trial and error codes until you finally get to the final page. Step 26 is the last and final website. You have to input the yellow code that you got, and it redirects you to this YouTube video. Congratulations on solving the world's hardest riddle! Take those six yellow letters you saw throughout the riddle and put them in the box below, and if you're the first person to do that, I will ship this hundred grand to your house. Congrats. That's the end. This is the whole thing. The winner has already been decided, and Mr. Beast has already tweeted this out. I'm surprised that we got through this in less than 24 hours, less than 12 hours, and he said it might even take weeks. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, it really means a lot to me. I'll see you guys later, and bye.